I'm on board today with two of my absolute favorite anglers, Captain Lloyd Landry, scariest looking, nicest guy on the planet, and C Mac. Just scary looking. And C Mac just hooked, what is that, C Mac? A red? red. Third cast. Nah. <laughs> second cast. Oh, second, I'm sorry. Second cast. We got a redfish hooked up. But we're targeting trout today, really targeting anything that bites. That looks like a keeper red. Yeah, that's a good one. Look at that. C gotten a whole lot weaker. <laughs> All right, what's the slug? Here we go. Smoked it too. Yeah, the Eater Reds were in here pretty good. Luke actually was fishing a redfish tournament and came here and scouted and told me, he said, if you don't fish this area with customers, you're an idiot. <laughs> so I got to give my brother some credit for, for putting us on some fish over here. Not that we didn't already know. Woo, look at that fish. That's a, a perfect Eater, redfish. Gorgeous. You feed your family perfect. tonight. A three spotter on that side. Maybe a four spotter. Look at this. I love fishing with Lloyd. And he's taking the <laughs> bait out of his mouth and everything. Dude. The elusive redfish. South Louisiana redfish. 30. Actually, I lost 34. And uh, I probably put on about four. Look, I can move these. You no, you're good. The whole front. You're good. Take the whole front. I'm, I'm good. I'm oh, good. there's one. Ow. First cast. Yeah. First cast. With the power prawn. Man, I might have to give me some power prawn. <laughs> Todd done fell in love with that bait. Look at that pretty thing. Well, you know what? This this bait, it's ugly. Like, it's it's not anything, but I'm telling you, it freaking catches fish. And you just put it on an eighth ounce death grip jig. Sixteenth right? ounce. Sixteenth. See, I like those lighter ones. I Under a cork, I go sixteenth. I'm out of them. Oh, no joke. See, it's nothing special. No. It just wakes. See, Mac, you want this trout? Yeah, keep. I want some trout too because I want to bring some to Missouri. Yeah, all right. So, I, I, I'm, oh, 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 wrong, wrong chest. One. Back, right. I'm uh, definitely the box keeping stinks like butt. <laughs> yep, that one stinks like butt. Yeah, I won't lie. I've been stopping along here or back there. I, I got a couple stretches that have been really good. <laughs> and I just watched the boats leave but to blow their motor up heading to Lost Lake. <laughs> Racing. Right. <laughs> Good, good riddance. There's so many areas that if people would just be courteous and work together, yep. they would catch more fish. But like they said last Saturday, man, they had an old dude. He was in like an old Bonita, middle of Lost Lake, going from birds to piles of birds. And dude, he was just plowing and waking everybody yep. and just screwed the whole joint up. It's like, pop. No wonder nobody catches fish in your boat. Oh, Get him, C-Mac. She lay a telephone pole, I hope not, but you know, it's like, come on, use some common sense. You got him, bro? I think he's a trout. <clears throat> nice trout. Real good trout. There you go. Perfect. They're still here, so there's too much bait. Caught that one out. Yeah, I caught him out off. You know, so it gets shallower on this side. I don't know. <laughs> if I gotta measure him, it's, I just let him go. You gotta measure him, he's too little. Oh, oh, oh. Give a double. Lloyd found him. I find him. That's a nice one there, too. Mine feels a little small, but he might make it. But I told him, like, you know, I'll come up there and help you. That's a keeper. That's a keeper. Well, thank you, man. Yes, sir. There he is. There he is. So Lloyd said these fish will only hit corks. He's tried to catch them tight line and they just won't, they just won't bite. C-Mac's got a nice one. C-Mac, you got a nice one. Look at that, fat, Oh, you got fat. one too. Yeah, I don't have uh, fat, fat. c C-Mac could eat mine. Well, you know. <laughs> well, buddy, we'll catch you next year. Nope, two years. Mm. We almost had a triple. We were mesmerized by Instead, we got a single. <laughs> C-Mac fishing ability. Another big one, C-Mac? Yeah, oh, there we go. That's a keeper. Big tail walker. What? Funny thing is, you got him, bro? All right. Can we get him? No, nah, I got him. Come on, man. I know. 
I know, you're used to having customers. It. It's a good guide, though. Unhook your own dang fish. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of guys have that attitude, believe me. I'm going to tag this one, yeah. I can't see anything in there, man. There we go. All right, swim off. It took forever. Honestly, we could sit right here and, and just wait. 12 o'clock. It'll go crazy. Yeah. Well, no, just by 12 o'clock, you yeah. have 50 fish. Yeah. You know, it's just a slow, steady pick. You know, uh, there's been some Red Sea. That land used to go all the way across right there. It touched. And there's a, oh, really? There's a channel along on that bank, too. But this washed out. It had one little break, and then it got two. It was probably it great two, when it had one break, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was awesome. It was awesome. And now, then it got two, and then it just went. So I got a feeling Apache probably this winter, they'll come back. and they'll Close it. Uh, they'll come fix all this back. But if you get any kind of dirt or anything like that up in the centers, you gotta take the damn thing apart. That motherfucker will be poked up in the air and you can't, you can't, it won't lay down. And I broke one in Missouri this past summer. It's charging like 500 bucks. That's a cuber. Yeah. Decrepit and you can't do it anymore. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. I just caught one too. Golly, look at this! This is silly. Silly. So it's funny. We all have different baits. Yep. And we're all catching fish. All catching fish. All catching fish. All catching fish. So it's whatever confidence is on the end of your hook. Yep. I didn't fish with it in the uh, other day. Why not? I'm not just start whacking it. You catch your fish on golf watching. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. What does it feel like to catch a second trout? It feels like the old days. I wouldn't know because that's a white trout. Bro, they got some starfish the size of a bus live around here. I mean, top of the big freaking five footers. They look so big. All right, so see, Mac, um, what is unique about this do large area that, that Lloyd Landry fishes? Well, I mean, it used to not be that unique, but it's unique now because there's actually marsh here, which is awesome. I mean, it just holds so many fish and it gets a lot of fresh water. And I think that's the reason why the marsh is still here. Um, you know, there's a lot of a Chafalaya River influence here. And despite all the controversy about what fresh water does, closer to the Mississippi River. Actually, the state of Louisiana and Terrebonne Parish and the fishermen around here are going out of their way to try to keep the fresh water in the system. Uh, a long time ago, Lake Decad used to be fresh water. Uh, and a lot of these areas from the Falgu Canal Marina west towards the Atchafalaya River, you know, it used to be freshwater areas. It was, you know, places where guys bass fished. A lot of that started changing after Hurricane Andrew, which was a long time ago in the early 1990s. But that's when the salt water really started coming in here. But a lot of the coastal restoration projects that are happening in this part of the state, the marsh creation and what they call the, 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 the multifunction lock system on the Homa Navigation Canal is there to keep the fresh water in this system, to keep the vegetation alive and keep the marsh alive. And even though most of this water is pretty fresh, it's full of speckled trout. I mean, we caught speckled trout all morning bouncing around uh, these areas between Falgu Canal and, and the Atchafalaya River. Farther east you come, the less sediment you're getting out of the Atchafalaya. So a lot of the marsh we would have seen today would have been floton. But a lot of this area does get some finer sediments that can build up in that submerged vegetation and build up in that marsh and keep this marsh more stable. This is a lot more stable marsh here in the Atchafalaya Delta region, the western part of Terrebonne Barish, than what we see, say, in eastern Terrebonne or parts of Lafouche or western parts of Plaquemine, where you're getting no sediment, basically, and that marsh has become so susceptible to wave action and destruction from hurricanes and things like that. All of this area has been hit by, you know, numerous hurricanes, the same as the Barataria Basin has been hit. But because this marsh get sediment because it's got so much vegetation in it it stayed a lot more stable in this area than it has areas east of here where they don't get any freshwater sediment at all grand isle is going to be about 20 miles or 22 miles from the mouth of the mid barataria diversion and some of the areas where we were fishing today were about 20 miles from the mouth of the chafalaya you and i have fished out here 
less than six miles from the Atchafalaya River in the middle of the springtime when the river is super high and caught a bunch of redfish. It really sort of frustrates me at times to hear people say, well, you know, diversions are such an experiment. We don't really know what's gonna happen to an area when we open a diversion. It's this grand experiment. It's not a grand experiment. You know, this was all part of the Mississippi River Delta at one time. All of this marsh in Southeast Louisiana was influenced by the Mississippi River. All of this marsh in this area gets influenced by the Atchafalaya River. And so we know, yeah, when you come into low salinity marshes, the speckled trout generally leave during the summertime. They go offshore to spawn. So all the fish that these guys are catching out of Raccoon Island and Pickett's Reef and the Mardi Gras rigs and all of those famous areas you hear about the guys fishing in the summertime, those fish come up in here during the fall and the winter. This is where they spend their time. And it's because there's so much food in here. There's pogies, there's mullet, there's white shrimp. We saw a smorgasbord of food in this marsh and we caught speckled trout pretty much every cast for the first two or three hours that we fished today. If you look at an aerial view map from the Atchafalaya River east to the Homan Ave, there's tons of marsh. And all that marsh is affected by the Atchafalaya River. I mean, we caught trout in all these places where lilies floated all day. Now these lilies are dying, but those fish this time of year don't need that salinity and this marsh is so intact we have we have just vast miles of canals bays to fish these fish are basically still in transition we, we talked this morning about some years the fish are way up inside a lot sooner well that's because we had a high water event we had a, a tropical storm a tropical storm is way better for the fishing than a, a hurricane, depending where the hurricane is located. When, when we have a storm, we have a, a tidal surge and they close all the floodgates, but it pushes the water in, pushes the shrimp and the trout follow them. Naturally, it takes longer for those fish to migrate to the inside, but they do. We, we're catching trout in Lake Decad. Been catching some for a month now. No numbers, but uh, as I leave a couple miles further away from Lake Decad, heading back to the Gulf, I'm catching those fish in transition. We need a couple more cold fronts and this fishery will be on fire. Normally, like C-Mac said, Thanksgiving. You know, that's like the time of the year. End of November, December, January, these fish pile up in Lake Decad. And it just depends on, on the cold fronts. You saw we fished those lakes just right off of Lake Decad. And those fish, you know, all the way to Lost Lake, all the way to Four League Bay, and then all the way towards Cocodry, all these interior bays are full of fish. A lot of juvenile fish, but you can weed through them and make a great day.